This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next, it's Team Ginger <laughs> taking on Team Williams. <laughs> this is the Varsity Quiz Silver League All-Star Match. Hello and welcome to the 53rd season of Varsity Quiz. We've got the best and the brightest high school students matching wits in this unique academic competition. Now, in this match, we're saluting the young men and women of the Silver League with this year's All-Star Match, featuring superstars from many of the Silver League schools that competed throughout the year. The students have been randomly assigned to two teams. This All-Star Match, a little bit different than our regular season because these are four timed rounds of 20 toss-up questions. Each question in the round, kind of lighthearted. It's worth five points. Let's meet our first round players, starting with Team Ginger. Hi, my name is Ethan Chow. I'm a senior from Palo Verde High School. Hi, I'm Ben Vinoker, and I'm a sophomore from the Meadows. Hi, I'm Rahul Mukhopadhyay, and I'm a senior at the Middle School. Hi, I'm Max, and I'm a junior at Centennial High School. And that's our Team Ginger for round one. <laughs> Let's meet our players for Team Williams. Hi, I'm Owen Miller, and I'm from Palo Verde High School. What grade are you in, Owen? Senior. There you go. Hi, I'm Michaela Hattersbeck, and I'm a senior from Liberty. Hi, I'm Kelly Mazumdar, and I'm a senior at Centennial High School. Hi, I'm Dylan Prum, and I'm a junior at WCTA. The coach for Team Ginger is Matt Aberman from Coronado High School. The coach for Team Williams is Chuck Bean. Are you guys ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. What popular travel reality show has returned after recently suspending its February, suspending its February 2020 season partway through because of COVID travel restrictions? That's Team Williams, Owen. Amazing Race. Yes. Which American artist's most famous paintings were made during his drip period between 1947 and 1950? <laughs> Team Ginger, Max. Uh, Pollock. Yes. If you are participating in the giant slalom, which winter sport are you competing in? <laughs> Team Williams, Michaela. Skiing. Yes, we would have accepted snowboarding as well. All right, name the winner of the 1932 Pulitzer Prize for the novel The Good Earth. She also won the Nobel Prize for Literature for her epic depiction of peasant life in China and her biographical masterpieces. <laughs> Team Ginger, Ben. Edna St. Vincent Millay. Incorrect. The answer, Pearl Buck. Next question. If a liquid is alkaline, what color will it turn a neutral litmus paper? <laughs> Team Williams, Kelly? Red. Incorrect. <laughs> Team Ginger, Ethan? Green. No, it's blue. Next question. In the Spider-Man comics, how do Peter Parker's parents, Richard and Mary Parker, die? <laughs> Team Williams, Kelly? Plane crash? Yeah. Which Supreme Court Associate Justice announced in January 2022 that he plans to retire from the court at the end of the current term? <laughs> Team Ginger, Raul? Uh, Stephen Breyer. Yes. Who was the first czar of Russia, not known for being a nice guy? <laughs> Team Ginger, Max? Peter the Terrible. That's incorrect. <laughs> Team Williams, Michaela? Ivan the Terrible. It was Ivan the Terrible. You got your terribles mixed up. All right, next question. Pas de deux and jeté are terms associated with what type of dance? That's Team Williams, Michaela. Ballet. Yeah. People in what country commemorated the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday on January 30th of 2022 when a half century ago British troops opened fire on protesters leading to decades of unrest? That's Team Williams, Owen. India. Incorrect. Team Ginger, Raul. Ireland. I don't think that's good enough. We needed Northern Ireland, so no points on that one. Next question. The Bidens have welcomed a new pet, a two-year-old tabby cat to the White House. What's its name? <coughs> Team Ginger Raul. Champion. No, that's one of the dogs. We're looking for the cat. <coughs> Team Williams, Kelly. Tom. No, it's Willow. So if someone asks you at the next party, you'll know. Next question. In recent news, Washington's NFL team finally selected a new name, replacing their old name, which was considered insensitive to Native Americans. What's the new name? 
Team Ginger, Ben. Washington football team. Pardon me? The Washington football team. That's incorrect. Team Williams, Dylan. Commanders. They are now the Washington Commanders. There you go. You need to get up on your football over there. You're good, Ben, though. It's all good. Next question. Your kneecap is also known by what anatom... Team Williams, Michaela. Patella. Yes, and she got in before I finished reading the question. We've got to work on that freeze. Which three-time gold medalist in snowboarding announced that the Beijing Olympics were going to be his final competition? <laughs> Team Williams, Kelly. Sean White. Yeah. Which yearly arts festival is held in the Black Rock Desert in northwestern Nevada? <laughs> Team Williams, Michaela. The EDC. No. So you were trying to buzz in, but we got Ethan over here. Ethan from Team Ginger? Fireman Festival. Pardon me? Fireman Festival. Oh, you are so close, it's... Man. Well, actually we had a representative from your team and he had an incorrect answer. So even though you knew, we should have had you, some of your buzzer, I, it's Burning Man. EDC is at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, but you're too young. Next question. A restaurant on New York's Greenwich Avenue where two streets meet was the inspiration for what painting by Edward Hopper? <laughs> Team Ginger, Ben? Nighthawk. Yes, and that is the end of round one. Now let's tell you a little bit about where these names for these teams came from. Team Ginger, named for Sandy Ginger. She recently retired from the CCSD after 32 years of running the Student Activities Department. Not only did she oversee hundreds of events throughout the years, ranging from student councils to speech and debate and obviously varsity quiz, but congratulations, that's the team, Ginger. Now, Team Williams honors recently retired longtime Vegas PBS producer and director, Gary Williams. Besides being the behind the scenes guy for hundreds of televised VQ matches and other award-winning programs, Gary coordinated the effort to get the set that we enjoy here in the Vegas PBS studio right now. And you longtime fans may fondly recall the previous double-decker yellow submarine set. All right, it is time for round two. It's the all-star match of VQ Silver League 22. The score going into round two, Team Ginger with 15 points. Team Williams has 40. Let's meet our new players for Team Ginger. Starting with Molly, would you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Molly. I'm in 11th grade at Foothill High School. I'm Angus. I'm in 12th grade at Ed W. Clark High School. I'm Joe. I'm in 12th grade at Liberty High School. I'm Frank. I'm in 11th grade at Coronado High School. Team Ginger for round two. And the players for Team Williams, starting with Mason. Hi, I'm Mason. I'm an 11th grader at Coronado High School. Howdy, I'm Sam. I'm a senior at Foothill High School. Hi, I'm Blue. I'm a senior at Ed W. Clark High School. I'm Austin, and I'm a senior at Shadow Ridge High School. That's Team Williams for round two. All right, students, are you ready? Name the first American poet invited to read a poem at the inauguration of a president. It was the inauguration of John F. Kennedy. Team Williams, Blue. Frost. Yes. In which country did manga originate? That's Team Williams, Sam. Japan. Yes. Name the German-born American businessman who, in 1853, founded the first company to make blue jeans in San Francisco, California. Team Ginger, Frank. Levi Strauss. Yes, sir. In Super Bowl 53, which team did not score an extra point after a touchdown because of a bungled hold? Uh, the Los Angeles Rams, you know, all the football fans. Next question, in the biblical story of Noah and the ark, what kind of bird does Noah first send out from the ark? <coughs> team Williams, blue. Dove. Incorrect. <coughs> team Ginger Angus. A crow? Well, can we accept that? No, we needed raven, and dove was second. So we're working on our Noah the Ark story. Now we've got it for next time, right? If it comes up again. Next question, the term salary comes from the practice of the Romans paying their soldiers with money, but also with what mineral substance? <coughs> Team Williams, Mason. Salt. Yes, sir. What's the name of Michelle Obama's 2018 memoir? Is that Team Williams Blue? Becoming. Yes. In May 1796, which English surgeon discovered a vaccination for smallpox? <coughs> Team Ginger, Frank. Jenner. Yes, sir. NASA was started on October 1, 1958, an agency of the U.S. government. What does NASA stand for? 
Team Williams, Mason. National Aeronautics and Space Agency. Nope. <laughs> Team Ginger, Joe. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. There you go. Animals like skunks, raccoons, coyotes, foxes, they are main carriers of what often fatal disease of the central nervous system. <laughs> Team Williams, blue. Rabies. Yes, ma'am. Black Panther, Marvel's fictional character, belongs to which fictional African country? <laughs> Team Ginger, Angus. Wakanda. Everybody knows Wakanda, right? Name the largest country that's adjacent to both Uruguay and Chile. Team Ginger, Frank. Argentina. Yeah, you weren't sure about that, but you yeah. got it. What's a term for a span of time, which was derived from Old English words meaning 14 nights? It's also the name of a popular online game. <laughs> Team Williams, Austin. Fortnite. Yeah. And what kind of hollow metal musical instruments are typically found in a belfry? <laughs> Ginger, Angus. Bells? Yeah. The <laughs> diameter of what planet is closest to that of Earth? Team Ginger, Joe? Venus. Yeah. Uh, Dora the Explorer's best friend's a monkey with what color boots? <laughs> Team Ginger, Joe? Red. Yeah. Uh, what iconic parade returns to D-Land for its 50th anniversary? It will be enlightening. Uh, Team Ginger, Angus? The Electric Light Parade. Can we accept that? Oh, okay. <laughs> and now see, true Disney heads, tell them what the real answer is. I think it's the, Come on. the Main Street Electric Light Parade. It's the Main Street Electrical Parade. Right, that's what it is. We will not hold it against you. Next question. Karachi is the largest city in what Asian country? I think we get Team Ginger, Frank. Pakistan. Yes, sir. The National Audubon Society, named in honor of a 19th century naturalist whose most famous works were images of what kind of animals? <laughs> Team, Gin uh, Team Williams, blue. Birds. Yup. That's the end of round two. Give it up for these kids. <laughs> All right, on this all-star match, the score going into round three, Team Ginger has 65 points, Team Williams has 80, but we're doing something different. Check this out. Started this a couple years ago, and the all-star match, it is a round of competition where the players are not students, but rather coaches or other grown-ups. Kids, what do you think about that? Yeah. So, players, as you introduce yourselves, please tell us the team that you coach or the school you're from. Let's start with Team Ginger. Hi, I'm Corwin evans clock I coach at Mojave High School. You can call me Coach E.K. All right. I'm Sandy Ginger, and I'm retired. <laughs> and they named the team after you. Uh, uh, Matthew Aberman, and I coach Coronado High School. And you guys have a great team and a great program, Coach. Thank you. I'm Tom Garvey, and I coach for the Meadows School. And it's good to have you here, too, Coach. That's Team Ginger, the coaches. All right, let's find out who's playing for Team Williams. Clark High School, and everyone should read my novel, Stuntman of God by Chuck Bean. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Banda, I'm not a coach, but I'm the reigning Mrs. Nevada America. We're glad to have you here, and thanks for supporting the program. Hi, I'm Dave Fisher. I am a 42nd grader at Liberty High School. <laughs> I'm Gary Williams, Vegas PBS, retired. And as you know, Gary, you don't lean into the microphone <laughs> to speak. How many times did you tell the students that? All right. Okay, so are you ready? Coaches, here we go. In the 1980s sitcom, you know, this is an appropriate question, uh, it was Mork and Mindy. What planet is Mork from? <laughs> Team Ginger, Matt? Uh, Ork. Mork from Ork. See, you know. Next question. Bolero, the lively dance with strongly marked rhythm associated with which country? <laughs> Team Ginger, Corwin. Spain. Yes. Are you going to do a bolero? No, thanks. Okay. Name the American Railroad foreman known for having survived a traumatic brain injury in 1848 that was caused by an iron rod that damaged the left frontal lobe of his brain, changing his personality. <laughs> Team Ginger, Matt. Phineas Gage. All right, I think we've got a runaway over here. Uh, what historic city located in the fertile Haouz Plain is the major city of central Morocco? <laughs> Team Ginger, Matt. Marrakesh? Yeah, so far you got them all, brother. What 1937 work by Zora Neale Hurston is considered a classic of the Harlem Renaissance and is Hurston's best known work? <laughs> Team Ginger, Matt. Their eyes were watching God? Yes, sir. Uh, the rest of you can go home. 
David Duchovny played the role of which FBI agent in the X-Files? <phone rings> Team Williams, David. Fox Mulder. There you go. They showed up. <laughs> Here we go. When it absolutely positively has to be there overnight. That was the slogan from 1970 to 2011 for what company? <phone rings> Team Williams, Coach Bean. Federal Express. Yes, sir. There you go. What eminent scientist hosted the TV show Cosmos? Team Williams, Coach Bean? Sagan. Yes. According to tradition, what ancient Christian artifact is located in the Church of St. Mary of Zion in Aksum, Ethiopia? Indiana Jones could tell you about it. <laughs> Team Ginger, Coach Tom. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, now if nobody gets this one, we're all going home. Which singer is known as the king of rock and roll? <laughs> Team Ginger, Matt. Elvis Presley? I hope so. <laughs> Uh, this tutor of Alexander the Great's been called the father of logic. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Mr. Aberman. Aristotle. Yes, sir. John Wayne played Rooster Cogburn in the 1969 movie version of what book by Charles Portis? <phone rings> Team Williams, Coach Bean. True Grit. Yes, sir. That's a great movie. Everybody a True Grit fan? All right. What 1906 novel portrays the harsh working conditions and exploited lives of immigrants in the meat industry in Chicago and similar industrialized cities? Uh, Team Ginger, Coach Garvey. Uh, the Jungle. Yes, sir. John Baker, Frank Poncharello were partners in what 1980s TV police drama? <laughs> Team Williams, Coach Bean. Chips. I am surprised you got that. That is awesome. Coach Bean knows chips. That's great. The most famous landing at Le Bourget Field in France was in 1927 when what American monoplane completed its flight? <phone rings> Team Williams, Coach Bean. Spirit of St. Louis. There you go. Give the title of the best-selling science fiction novel of all time. <phone rings> Coach, uh, Team Ginger, Coach Haberman. Dune? Yeah. <phone rings> you, guys, you guys all good with Coach knowing the science fiction? All right. Uh, here's one. Animated character Sylvester the Cat constantly trying to catch which crafty creature? <phone rings> Team Williams, Coach Bean. Tweety Bird? Yes! That's exactly correct! <laughs> which famous jazz musician has the nickname Satchmo? <phone rings> Team Williams, Mr. Williams. Louis Armstrong. Yeah, Coach Williams! <clears throat> Name the American artist whose hanging mobiles in many different sizes and colors have become emblematic of mid-20th century American art. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Coach Averman. Uh Calder? Yes, sir. <coughs> uh, the Lunar New Year started February 1st, just days before the Olympic Games in Beijing. This is the year of the blank. <phone rings> oh my God, we got buzzers. <laughs> I think Coach Bean was first. Yeah, I think Coach Bean was first. Sorry, so, sorry Coach EK, we're gonna go with uh, Coach Bean. Tiger? Yes, sir. Abraham Lincoln became president as candidate for the Republican Party, representing which state? <phone rings> Team Ginger, Coach Garvey? Illinois. Yes, sir. Oh, and we're out of time. Give it up for the coaches! Yes! That was awesome. However, don't go away. Don't go away. We are actually going to get down to some serious business here because we want you to meet our Varsity Quiz Coaches of the Year. Now this coaching team was brand new this year. They volunteered their school to host competitions. They provided snacks and drinks for the teams and the staff. They were so excited to be quizzing. It was contagious. They made it fun for everybody. They did a great job with their teams. And we look forward to many more years to come. Please help me congratulate the VQ Coaches of the Year from Mojave High School, Corwin evans Clock. And Sarah Moore. Now, Sarah couldn't be with us today, but I'm sure Corin will be happy to uh, pass on the honors. Congratulations, the VQ Coaches of the Year from Mojave High School, Coach EK. We've got one more round to go. Well, who knew that in the coaches round we'd end up with the match tied? Going into our final round, Team Ginger, 125 points. Team Williams, 125. We are back to student players, so let's have them introduce yourselves. We'll start with Tanner. Hi, I'm Tanner Langeveld. I'm a junior at Green Valley. My name is Ethan. I'm a senior at Palo Verde High School. I'm Joe Hartle. I'm a senior at Liberty High School. I'm Sheridan. I'm a senior at West Tech. Awesome. Let's hear it for Team Ginger here in this round. And the players for Team Williams. Um, I'm Dylan Prum. I'm a junior at WCTA. That hasn't changed since last time, so that's good. 
I'm Michaela Hattersbeck. I'm a senior at Liberty High School. Good. I'm Kelly Mazumdar, and I'm still a senior at Centennial High School. Good to hear. <laughs> I'm Casey Lewis. I'm a 12th grader at Shadow Ridge High School. Welcome to Good to Have You Here. All right, so let's get right to it, students. Are you ready? Remember, you will not be allowed to buzz in until I finish the question. Erin Jackson became the first black American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in what winter sport? <laughs> Team Ginger, Tanner. Speed skating. Yes. Which movie has 12 Oscar nominations more than any other movie this year? <laughs> Team Ginger, Tanner. The Life of Dog. Uh, no. <phone rings> Team Williams, Dylan? Encanto? No, it is the power of the dog. Yeah, have you seen it? It's kind of weird. Next question. <laughs> Give the term for any member of the order Pinales. These woody plants bear their seeds and pollen in separate cones. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Tanner? Coniferous? I think we can accept that. We're going to go with conifer, but you're on the right path. Um, what does Nevada mean in Spanish? Team Ginger, Joe. Snow-capped. Yes. We should all know that, <laughs> I hope. Next question. In Yellowstone, what horned mammals injure the greatest number of people annually? <phone rings> Team Ginger, Tanner. Bison. Yeah, okay. Hamilton's become the biggest Broadway hit over the past five years. Name the man who wrote the book and music for this mega hit musical. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Ethan. Lin-Manuel Miranda. Yes. Are we, all, are we all Hamilton fans? Oh man, you gotta go see Hamilton, it is awesome. Name the long-running TV drama that's being revived with members of the original cast. Dun -dun. <laughs> Team Williams, Michaela. Law and Order. Yeah. That, for us old people, that's really cool, because we know them. For you guys, it'll be like, who, who's that? Uh, since they cannot make their own shells, what kind of crabs live in shells left by other creatures? Team Ginger, Tanner. Hermit crabs? Yeah. Name the city that was founded in 1847 by Brigham Young and a group of 148 members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a refuge from religious persecution. <phone rings> did we, did I, we have a team buzz in early? So we'll go with Team Williams, Dylan. Salt Lake City. Yes, sir. Name the British author of the trilogy that is very succinctly suggested by this line. Middle Earth's epic jewelry return policy. <phone rings> Team Williams, Kelly. Tolkien. Yeah. You know that one? You know those stories? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what standardized test is required for graduation from a Nevada high school? <phone rings> well, I know where everybody's buzzing in now. <laughs> Team Ginger Joe. The ACT. I hope everybody knows that one. <laughs> All right. Florida has established a hunting season during which hunters can earn big bucks by tracking and killing which invasive species? <phone rings> Team Williams, Kelly, what do you think? Alligator? No. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Tanner? Lionfish? No, it's, what were, what were you going to say, Sheridan? Anacondas? No, you're close though. Pythons. It was pythons. Burmese pythons. So no points, we move on. What was Hermione Granger's first piece of advice to Ron Weasley given on their first train ride to Hogwarts in HP and the Sorcerer's Stone? <phone rings> Team Ginger Joe? That's not a real spell? No. <phone rings> Team Williams Kelly? You've got dirt on your nose? Yes! <laughs> Clean your nose, you've got dirt. How many times have you seen the movie? Too many. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in 2022, Britain's Queen Elizabeth is to celebrate which anniversary is Queen? Team Ginger, Joe. Platinum Jubilee. Do we need a number? <laughs> the judges are confused. The judges are having to think about this now. Okay, can you, do you have more information? What does that mean? What number is that? 75. No. <laughs> uh, team Williams, Michaela. 70. Yeah. Oh, I wish we could give you like two points each. I don't know. Uh, name either of the two surviving members of the Beatles. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Tanner. Ringo Starr. Yeah, do you know the other one, just for fun? Uh, Paul McCartney. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you, you guys know the Beatles, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, there's hope, there's hope. <laughs> name Japan's World War II military dictator. <phone rings> Team Ginger, Joe. Hirohito? No. Name the emperor, but we're looking for the dictator. Uh, Tojo. Do I have time for another one? Oh, we just ran out of time. 
All right, uh, let's find out who won. The final score, this lighthearted Silver League All-Star match, Team Ginger wins with 165 to Team Williams 150. Congratulations to the champions of the Blue League All-Stars. Now, before we go, we have a special announcement to make because we talk about how big a deal this is every year. We have the fellow for whom this scholarship is named. Howard Naylor is here. Step on in here, Howard, because we want to announce the winner of the 2022 Varsity Quiz Howard Naylor Scholarship and the winner from Clark High School. It's Blue. Blue, come on in. You're the winner of the Howard Naylor Scholarship. Come on in here, Blue. She's running out of the audience. Congratulations, Blue. You have been a great player after all of these years. And congratulations. Stay here, you guys, because we got a couple of other things we want to say. We want to tell you how much we appreciate your tuning in, and that wraps up the 53rd season of High School Varsity Quiz. But we want you to keep an eye out for middle and junior high school students. They'll be competing in Junior Varsity Quiz in the coming months. Thank you so much for watching Varsity Quiz on Vegas PBS.